Okay, let's have a quick look at this proof. So we've got a proof that the angle uh, from a chord to the center of the circle, so this angle, is twice the angle at the circumference, this angle. So we've got to show that um, x is equal to, it's going to be double y. Okay, now before we start, I'm going to split this up like this, and that's going to give me, um, so these are all the same, since they're all radiuses, red eye. And from there, I'm just going to call this angle here, so that's x, let's just call that, um, let's just call that a, and let's just call this b. Now, since these are all isosceles triangles, what I can say about this is going to be angles and triangle add up to 180, so this will be 180 minus the x, and that will be shared by 2. Okay, because that angle and that angle will be the same. Now, similarly, if I work out this angle here, I can say um, um, same thing, 180 minus the A shared by 2, since that angle and this angle will be the same. Okay, uh, likewise, I can also do this angle, work this one out, which will be 180, subtract the B, shared by 2, and that will give me this angle here, that angle, that angle. So, okay, well we can also say here that A plus B plus X, we'll write that here, A plus B plus X is going to equal one, uh, 360, since it's angles around the point. Okay, so let's just put all the facts now together. Um, like that. So let's just write that down again, 360. Okay, now, so these two angles added together will make angle A. So I've got, uh, let's do that a different color now. So 180 minus A over 2 plus 180 uh, minus A over 2 plus these two angles here will make angle B, which will be this angle is the same as that. So that's 180 minus x over 2 uh, plus 180 minus b over 2 and this angle we know is y and these three angles since they form a, a triangle angles in a triangle add up to 180 okay so we need to try and Get, simplify this expression, use these these two, and try to come out with this is the case. So add those together, so what we got here, so first of all I'm going to do is just get rid of the twos by times in everything by two, so that makes life a lot easier. Times that by two, every expression, okay, so that will give me 180 minus a plus 180 minus x plus 180 minus x plus 180 minus b uh, plus 2y equals 360. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, 180 add 180 add 180 add 180 is 720. So Looking at this, I'm going to bring these into it, so that's going to be a minus um, a minus b and minus 2x, so minus there, minus there, and plus 2y equals to 360. Okay, right. Um, Right, so if I say, um, if I take these minuses to the other side, so if I say 720, and then I take this 360 to this side, minus 360, and leave this on here, uh, actually take all the minuses to the other side, so leave plus 2y on here, just because I don't like minuses, so I'm going to bring that to the other side, so that should be plus b, uh, plus a, plus b, plus 2x. Now 720 minus 360 is 360 um, plus 
two y, and that's going to equal a plus b plus two x. Now, I did make this claim because all these angles a, b, c add up to three sixty. So I'm going to replace three sixty by a plus b plus x, and that's plus two y, and that is going to equal a plus b plus 2x. And what I now can simply do is minus a from both sides. Oops. Minus b from both sides. And minus x from both sides. So 2x minus x will just give me 1x. So 2y will equal 1x. And that's what we wanted to prove that x, the angle here, is double the angle at the edge. Okay.